I've never let anybody eat a live one, but I, it's not for human consumption. If I do this right now, I need somebody to donate <laughs> something to U.S. <laughs> Ark. I'll get them once. Hello! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We are at the uh, Sacramento Reptile Show, actually the Roseville Reptile Show. I'm here at Jimmy Cruz's Ball Life booth. He set me up with a nice spot to do Triple B TV interviews for the whole show right here. We got it all set up. We're doing interviews and got some good interviews this time around. Let me tell you what. One thing I wanted to point out to you, there's, there's a couple things I'd like to point out Then we're gonna run around. If you guys have been to the last Cusco and Cutter Reptile Show, you know that we did, the, my, my camera records for a half hour. And as soon as it finishes recording, then the video is over. But well, we're not gonna cut it. And uh, I did this at Arlington. I think this is gonna be my format for the vlogs at the reptile shows because then it gives me a chance to do show for BTV interviews, hang out with people without worrying about making a whole cinematic vlog. Because as you know, we do three videos a week on this channel. Two of them are beautifully edited masterpieces. And one of them is uncut. And as I said in today's Uncut, we're going to check out lots of things about the show. I want to talk about you something real quick. And also, we got to check a look at this. Look at, look at Jesse's purse. <laughs> so much jealousy going on over here. There's a lot of jealousy going on no, over no, here, no, Jules. No. My favorite part. Hold on, please turn. Is the button hold on, for hold security on. so your items don't fall out. That's important. Right. The strap is one layer of protection. But here, the zipper is the third layer of protection to keep your makeup or no other goods. Same. What, are you going to break it down, open it, and get in it? <laughs> <laughs> Nick Scholl, renowned reptiles, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, freshly engaged man. Yeah. A good, good girl, too. I don't know if you got to meet his girl. Phenomenal character of a, of a girl. Nick did very well, and uh, he's lucky to be where he's at, in my opinion. And he also hashed out some phenomenal stranger clowns. Pretty cool. It's Dave. How's it going? You want to show some of your beautiful rainbows, sir, since they're here on the table. I'm just going to do a little pan by if you don't mind. No problem. Beautiful. We're down to just some of the candy stripes left, so gorgeous animals. And you you are responsible for candy stripe. Yeah. Correct? Discovered them 2000. First ones were born that we knew that it was, there was a super candy stripe was 2011. That was an amazing day. Yeah, I bet. You're probably still flying high of that. Mm. Ran out, screaming like a little girl, dragging my wife in to see him. <laughs> I couldn't open the door because Zeus was wrapped around the lock. Zeus being the baby. <laughs> I knew who he was. He was obvious. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. See you soon. Have a good one. Dude. Phenomenal. Rainbows are us. You're looking for some good rainbow boas right there. Rainbows are us. We're just going to walk around this show and just like pop in on random people. How about this? Hell Creek Reptiles. So this is the Roseville show. This is the first time it's been in this location. It's the Reptilian Nation shows. And this is our, again, my first time being here. And I believe the first time Reptilian Nation has been at this particular venue here in Sacramento. It's nice and big and open, as you can tell. There's lots of lots of space in between all the aisles and the venue. It's, uh, it's cool. It's chill. I love my Northern California shows because I'm from... Northern California. Well, I, you know, honestly, anything north of Santa Rosa is what I actually start to consider Northern California. All this stuff around here is like not quite, but you know, you can call it Northern California if you want. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Sacramento County is Northern California. A lot of people would say so. Oh, there we go. I'm not too. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sewing this. My wife's no, no. Put, put it in your hands, honey. Look, look. Yeah, just hold it in your hands. Thank you. You gotta have, have your have your arms out, Nico. You gotta support support the you snake. Can, you can hold. We gotta hold it in your face. Sure. Oh my! Cool shot, Whoa! Here, turn to Daddy. He's gonna take a picture. They're okay? So they are really strong. Smile, Daddy. Smile, Daddy. Is that cool? Oh, Eli, hold on, Nico. Hold on. You wanna hold on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is Brian. Wow. This is Brian. This is Brian. He spells it correctly too. That's right. Hell Creek Reptiles. Teaching the kids about how awesome reptiles are. And dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. Thank you very much. 
Look at that stuff. Eco, you got all kinds of cool stuff. My friend makes these. These are all handmade uh, replicas. I have uh, real fossils too. And I just have a real passion for reptiles and dinosaurs. And here it is. Link down in the description. Go check out Brian Hellkick Reptiles. Doing it right. Doing it right. All right, let's see what else we got here, guys. I, I want to try and make it around the entire facility. All right, all right, I've been called out. I've been called out. What up? What up? My name is Max Mendoza with Hermitia Protein, and we got worms. Believe it or not, these are black soldier fly larvae that feed chickens, pigs, fish, reptiles, and all sorts of animals. Even cats and dogs were approved for this just last year. Isn't that crazy? Can I eat some? I wish you could eat some. You can, you can eat a, some dry one. You want to eat a dry one? Oh, I can't eat the live ones? Is that like animal abuse or something? I'm not allowed to eat. I don't know. You want to eat a live one? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm saying like I'll eat one if you're, if you're offering. <laughs> I, I, I've, never, I've never let anybody eat a live one, but I, I let people eat the dry one. It's up to you. Is it, is it illegal to eat a live one? It's not, it's not for human consumption, but... But in what if I told you that I've eaten uh, day and a half old fish that have been sitting in bags out of a, the bottom of a sailfin enclosure? That's that's just that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. I need to know you. <laughs> Here, let's do this. All right. Are you gonna you got you got to share this with me, dude? I don't know if okay. So this I video. I saw this big tub of squiggling. What did you say it was black fly? Black soldier fly. Black soldier fly larva. All right. So who's gonna? All right, if I do, do if I do this right now, I need somebody to donate something to USR. <laughs> just to the, just to make a comment down below, screenshot. Let's see the uh, donation to USR for for Brian doing something dumb again. I've, I've drank Ooh. drank my own pee. I've uh, you know I'm I'm willing to do just about anything for USR if it's going to get people inspired to donate. I don't care what it is. I'll sacrifice my body. And today I'm sacrificing my taste buds for uh, I'll just eat one how about that you know yeah, you like I, I want to save some for the dogs and cats and all the other animals that have been approved to eat these because they're apparently not approved for human consumption which means not yet like, not yet well I'll, I'm gonna approve it right now it's uh, either this is gonna I'm gonna disapprove or I'm going to approve there it is little uh there's a worm larva worm McWormerton and it's you can see him squirming there he is squirming right I, I'm not gonna fake this right <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Ooh, my gosh. it's got a real crunch on the front. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, that crunch is, you know what? Did what do you, you think? Eat a maggot? What'd you think? It tastes like, uh, it tastes like popcorn that's real extra, extra buttery. You're the man, dude. <laughs> You're the man. Wow. That was awesome. That was awesome, for real. That was awesome, for real. All right, These guys, the dry ones, taste like sunflower seeds. Yeah, you know what? It was like a popcorn sunflower seed. Look, I'm, it's so good I'm having it, but only because I know you guys are going to donate to US Arc right now for the second <laughs> one, okay? Mmm, um, tasty, crunchy. Thanks. Come back and see me. <laughs> good times. Actually, it's not so bad. Like, I could survive off of that protein. I'm surviving off of it right now. It's a, like, I've eaten some nasty stuff. That wasn't so bad. I went back for seconds. What are you going to do? Tasty. I, I approve it for human consumption. Uncooked. Let's see what else we got here. We got Dean's Rodents, Reptiles. Oh, let's check out this guy over here. We always have to say hi to Brian. We, we're biased towards Brian's. Like, we like Brian's. What's up, guys? What's happening? <laughs> What's up, Brian? What's going on? Samo, Samo. Enjoying the show, man. Enjoying the show. This is a Ooh, great turnout. Let's turn check out. out Dean's Rodents, Reptiles. Let's What's up? Where's, where's Dean hiding at? I tried to ask the same question, but I got no answers. Where's your, what's much. your favorite snake on the table? Uh, I like this one. Right there. Didn't even have to think about it. It's like, it's, it's right here. Super Pastel Enchi Freeway. Alright, fair enough. Super Pastel Enchi Freeway. Not a, not a bad favorite. Alright. Let's go check out um, something else. How about that? Oh, here's the thing I meant to talk to you guys about. I never actually so stopped and talked to you. We just kind of went rip roaring into the show. But check it out. So I was planning to host this show with my kids, my family being here. You know, it's Father's Day weekend for us, and uh, I, they ended up not coming, which is fine. I know Noah Sage and Eli and Leia are having a great time in Great Grandma's swimming pool right now while I'm here sweating it out in, in the hot old uh, Roseville warehouse sun. It's okay. 
I'm happy you guys are having fun out there, and I'm glad that I'm going to spend the rest of the weekend with you guys when I get back. But, you know, we could have been running around the show together, being wild and crazy, and then you guys probably would have got tired of it after about an hour and a half, and then it would have been, you know, not so fun. So, I think we made the right choice, but I do miss you guys, so, okay, and let's, let's continue on. <clears throat> and when I say continue on, I mean, let's find... We got tarantulas, like, I don't even know where to go right now. There was... You know, we had an interview with uh, Brandy Blue Safari Reptiles, uh, Safari Encounters. They have all kinds of cool animals. Oh, I think I just spotted Brandy. We should definitely check this out because they've got a huge caiman, a gigantic dwarf caiman sitting back here. Looks like people are getting ready for the show. And I feel like I saw her sneak behind the... Oh, yep, there she goes. I see her. Let's go. Come on, let's run. We're, we only got 20 minutes left on this video. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about you. We're like, I didn't see Brian at all. Yeah, I, I made it. You I made, made it? It's live. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, cut. perfect. <laughs> this is how we transport our crocodilians. Nice. I know, right? All right, we'll get Akama out. But Daniel will get Akama out. All right. Head in, right? He, he wants to head in. No, you had to head in. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to bring out something impressive for you. I just, I can feel it. <laughs> Yeah, when you have to bust out the screw gun to get the animal out, you know it's going to be something impressive. Do you want to just set him on the ground? Daniel's was like, I could do anything. Uh, <laughs> this is why he's the boss. I'm not the boss. No smart man ever believes that. <laughs> Woo. Wow. Wait till you guys see what's coming out of here. This might just make the video. Oh, goodness. All right, I'll just, I'll just give you some space there, sir. Say hello to Akama. Akama. One of our adult male Cuvier's dwarf caimans. Dude, what a beast. He is a beast. <laughs> wow. Now, of course, it's state law that you have to have a Yep. The thing around the you mouth. You do have there. to be. Uh, oh, so to have his mouth like this, we do it also for our safety and sure. his safety. Sure. Yeah. I mean, once you get an animal to this size, you know, I really don't risk want Take, to risk my get, hand or yeah, my fingers. Get so. your hand and finger, like and, you know, literally losing your hand or finger. Yeah, like actually, and like you know, even for the short periods of time it's on here, it's not affecting him. He still has the complete ability to breathe. He's just not eating or drinking at this time, which we're not trying to do any way right now. I don't think a lot of people would like live feeding demonstrations, <laughs> as cool as that might be. Yeah, maybe it's something like maybe fish, maybe. Maybe <laughs> yeah, people don't really seem to be. People are too about bothered fish with too much. fish. Yeah, <laughs> fish are expendable. Yeah, there's that uh, ex that expo that has the koi show going on at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The I think I would lose court. my permits, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we would never do that. We'll do it by the books. Yeah, that sounds better. But yeah, no, he's our he's our one of our adult male dwarf came in. We have two. Farquad is a little bit bigger than him. I'm guessing you named Farquaad. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he named this one. Gosh, my names are so cool. They're cool. I appreciate you taking them. Yeah, of course. Man. Thank you very much. I'm not going to make you hold photo? them all day. Oh, yeah, did you want... I mean, I got... I'll, I'm doing I'll... live photo. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Here we you, go. You tell me what to do. You want me to just get behind you and, and hold right here where you're holding? Yeah, sure. We don't do this often. He's not as nice as the nerd one. <laughs> So you'll Use want to transition muscles. one of your hands above to control the way his head goes. Gotcha. Dang! Yeah. <laughs> Champing it. Yeah, I could feel him think he's, he's thinking he's like, he's like, you don't seem like you're quite as confident as the <laughs> other guy that was just holding me, but I could feel him thinking about it. He's like, are you, are you strong enough to keep me from turning around on you right now, buddy? Are you? That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't hold him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah, you good? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I can feel I can feel like the little the little mi micro muscle movements inside where he's like oh, just feeling out. He's feeling out. Like, where are you at? Where are you at? Like I can, <laughs> can I push you out right now? Like I'm, I'm just waiting for that moment for you to show me a little sign of weakness. <laughs> Thank you. It's funny, a little not. animal like that, you don't think being super strong. Oh, that thing you can feel the power. Yeah. It feels like a piece of iron. <laughs> just like just a slightly malleable iron that will decide to go where it wants when it wants. Smallest crocodilian ever, right there. <laughs> super cool. Thank you guys. Yeah, no I problem. I appreciate it. I'm going to try and catch as much of the show as possible. Yeah. 
Thank See you. See you guys later. <laughs> awesome couple right there, Brandy and Daniel. Um, I think I mentioned this already. Brandy came over and did an interview on Triple B TV and brought some of the other animals, alligator snapping, sorry, common snapping turtle. Uh, one of the smaller versions of that came in and there was a, oh, American alligator. Very cool. Won't be on Triple B TV for a couple months out, but if you're not subscribed to Triple B TV, we've been here all day today doing interviews with awesome people that are at the show. And now I'm far away from the rest of the booths because this is where they're giving presentations to everybody at the show. Brandy does a fantastic job. I mean, she, she has an amazing way of talking with people about the animals. It's really cool to watch and see. Let's go see another booth before we finish here. Let's see, lick your eyeballs. I feel like that's gotta be some crested geckos. And scales reptiles. There's a lot, there's, there's a lot. There's more than we're gonna see. As much as it's spread out, we're not gonna see everything here before it's over. I don't think, especially if I spend so much time wandering around like wondering what I'm doing. You got a favorite animal you wanna show real quick? <laughs> yeah, no? That's the skillman right here. Oh, oh Bob, it's Bob. I saw this. I saw you sitting here. I was like, oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We already showed some of Bob's cool oh, animals. Oh, you what? Yeah, let's see that. All right, Zach, get it. Oh, my gosh, dude. Pull her out. Pull yeah, out. please. Come on, Zach. What's up, Zach? What's up? Yeah. You having a fun day at the show today? Yeah. How do you pull her out? Wow. What a beast. <laughs> She is huge. Isn't she sweet? Yeah. That is a beast there right there. We're gonna make Zach colder. Yeah. Zach, here you go. Let me. There you go. Just See? Put your whole hand in she, there so you go. She comfortable. Wow, that is a beautiful lizard, man. There you go, sweetheart. Can you tell us anything about the earring mask, Zach? Nope. Don't know anything <laughs> about him. <laughs> hey, you know what? I appreciate the honesty. I really do. Some people, some people would try to tell you something and they don't know what they're talking about. I may have done that from time to time. Not saying I have, but it's possible. Okay, Zach, tell me, the vegetarians? They're vegetarians. They live out in the desert. They live out in the desert. Rocky high desert area. Rocky high desert area. Turn them around, turn her around. See that little spiky tail? Spiky tail. That's his weapon. So they wedge themselves against rocks and use that tail to wear off anything. They wedge themselves against the rocks and they would put their tail off for anything that Look tries that to eat tail them. Though, to wedge against the predators. It's like a it's like a spiky chuckwalla. Exactly. And then turn around this way, you see the cute little face. You look at that turtle turtle head. Is she cute? That is a chunky little head. A chunky little head. And look at her lips. She looks like she's trying to kiss you. <laughs> she does it like pursed up. Yeah, she's going for a little smooch. <laughs> Go for a little smooch, huh? Get a, Go get for a, a little smooch. Kiss for a dollar. How I feel about that, T? What about you, Hillary? Are you jealous? <laughs> little scaleless corn. Oh, scaleless corn going out of shed. Come here, daddy. Scaleless snow corn. A little bit of scales on the belly. I wish it was shed off already, but it'd be a lot prettier. I'm sorry, I wish my camera would focus. <laughs> we all have wishes. They don't all come true. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate it. Very welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. I know I told you guys that my camera was going to record for a half hour, but I just looked at the battery, and the battery might die, so we might not get the whole half hour. I apologize. I'm thinking about an uncut video. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Here's something that is I, n I never really talk about at the shows. I don't think, but it's something that we should talk about because it's something you can find at the shows, and it's something that's awesome. It's these all this wood. I just love wood. I need, I need more wood. I don't have enough wood. I should get more wood. I need help with that. Maybe we should go back to that lizard that had the kissy lips. Let's see what we can find over here. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, I'm just gonna walk. Oh, look, we got a snake. Can we, can we see your snake? Yes, there we go. Nothing like a snake at a reptile show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
cool to have him out walking around. Did you just pick this up at the show? Yeah, I just purchased him a couple hours ago, oh, actually. Sweet. Is, yeah. this, is this your, your first snake or not? Yes, this is my first this snake. This is your first snake? Yeah, ever? I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I'm excited for you. That's fantastic. And it's a cool glow. Anything else going on? Fire? Cool glow fire? Anything else going on there? Or banana? What? Yeah, oh, good. yeah, it's a banana. Sorry. Anything else or just banana? Um. Oh, the guy's handwriting was really yeah, messy. Yeah, I can show you the picture of what it said if you want to interpret it. Who, who, uh, who was it that you got it from? Um, the, the, actually, right there. It was um, Ball Life. Oh, Ball Life. Yeah. Hey, hey, guess what, Ball Life? You got some horrible handwriting. We can't read what you got going on <laughs> over here. He was actually the sweetest was guy so here. Bad. He was so nice. Jimmy's a sweet guy, but he can't write, live, oh save his God. life. <laughs> yeah, it says banana... Maybe. Banana something. <laughs> Alright, you guys, leave a comment down below. Can you read Jimmy's writing? Jimmy, we might need to take you back to school for a little bit of writing lessons. Maybe it I just says, never learned how to read. It says, ball nana. <laughs> well, was, thank you guys, I appreciate it. That, that honestly made my day. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, what are you doing, bro? You gotta, you gotta let the people know what they got for their first snake if you can't write it down so they can read it. <laughs> Oh, I'm having way too much fun. Okay, we need to. Oh, reptile, reptile gems. I want to see uh, my buddy James. I haven't seen him for a minute. He's here with his family, vending, and I wanted to go see his favorite snack. I'm gonna bring you guys over there, and then we'll come back over if the battery doesn't die. We'll check out Steve and Jelly reptiles. He's got some freaking awesome lizards. But actually, we'll stop here first. Can, do you mind? Oh, should we pull the right? Right? Yeah, please. That would be fantastic. Good. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing? Not too bad, man. Not too shabby. Doing my own. Co oh my God. <laughs> Are you the YouTube channel guy? We're doing it right now, yeah. Right, right. Hey, is that Steve and the, his lizards? <laughs> Steve, that is phenomenal, bro. So you're from Hawaii, brother? I mean, I spent some time out there. I is lived there for about 12 years. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Hey. I'm actually, I grew up in Livermore, actually. Oh, did you really? I did, yeah. I grew up in San Leandro in Oakland. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah my dad worked in San Leandro for a long time. Is that right? Yeah, you yeah. stop it, right? Huh? You're still on. Are we still filming? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, live, really? Yeah. Live, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. live and uncut. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a Mexican beaded lizard, right? It's one of, I guess, two venomous lizards in the world, the Gila monster. And there's four subs. There's four species of beaded lizard. This is Heloderma exasperatum. And I have I have two species here. That's Heloderma horridum. And that's Heloderma exasperatum. And there's two other species, which is Alvarezi, which is on my shirt. I don't have any here. And Charles Bovardi, which is uh, the rarest of all of them. So. I think I've seen Alvarez at my uh, my buddy uh, uh, Lone Star Reptiles out in Texas. Um, oh my God, why am I spacing there? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Earl, Earl. Lone Star Reptiles. I think he has Alvarez at his place. Earl, Earl Turner. Earl, Earl uh, Jones. I don't know him. Lone Star Reptiles. Maybe. I think I might have sold that to him. Is it a baby? It's, yeah, I think maybe you did sell it to him. Yeah, they were they were. Is he ex-military guy? Um, no, but he's out in Texas. Oh, I don't know. Um, anyway, There's not a whole lot of them in the country. Though. Anyway, you were you were doing really good on telling us some information about. That oh yeah, 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 the lizard. Yeah, and they actually they're a venomous lizard. It's not a lethal bite, and they make a pretty good pet. I mean, this lizard was born in my house in 2005, oh, and yeah. so he's 16 years old. They live over 50 years. I mean, I don't really actually know how long they live. There's one. Um, Chad Brown has Fernando. He got it from Robert Applegate. And Robert Applegate got him from a guy named Tom Moisey. He was at a university. And Fernando was captured as an adult in 1968. And I believe he was probably eight years old at least. Wow. So he's still alive. So do the math. He's over 60 years old. That's epic. He's huge. They keep growing their whole life. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Look so. at that thing, man. Yeah, but I mean, he once they once they get over the fear, they actually make a pretty good pet. Yeah, look at know? that. He just went. I mean, yeah. obviously you trust That's him. That's why I bring him. I, he's like not really afraid of not afraid of people. You yeah, know? look at that. He just put you, resting yeah. his head right on your arm there. And they have the venom glands under the jaw. You see, underneath there's two pockets under here, and they have teeth that are pretty like a shark, and they have they have a um, groove in their teeth with a pit at the bottom, and um, they, their venom just goes with their saliva, but they really don't bite unless they're alarmed. You know, yeah, it's basically a defensive bite. So. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally, yeah. I mean, they make Gila monsters look like little tiny, like, yeah, they're way <laughs> cool. Gila, Gila monsters are a lot more aggressive, too, than a beetle lizard. A lot more. Yeah. I just gotta love a beefy lizard like that that you can hold, like, yeah. I mean, so, so cool, man. Thank you for sharing that, Steve. I yeah, you're welcome, man. Nice Thank to you. meet you. All right, you too, have a good day. God Thank bless you, man. So, all of them did that. They did that. All right, that was fantastic. Steve, Steve Angeli, fantastic.
Reptile Gyms, James Galbraith, my buddy. He's, he's helping out a customer right now, so I'm just gonna show a couple of his awesome snakes. Ooh, look at this female champagne cinnamon, 66% het pied. Remember those het pieds? The champagne het pieds I hashed out recently? Check this out. It's a 66% het pied. I mean, you guys think that's gonna prove? Pies do have crazy amounts of, uh, I mean, that's just, come on. Like, that's gonna prove het pied, right? Comment down below if you think that's gonna prove het pied. Let us know. What do you think? Throw your opinion out there. James Galbraith, Reptile Gems, Reptiles and Pythons, Reptile Gems, Pythons and Boas. God love it. G why, reptile Gems, that, that's all you need to know. I swear it said Pythons and Boas at one point. Now it's just Reptile Gems. That's easy to remember anyway. Reptile Gems. Boom. Got enclosures now too. When you get a chance, can you put his link up for him so he can add it onto the YouTube and all that? Oh, absolutely. Thank yeah, you. Put the, put the link for, he has a YouTube channel? Yeah. Is, Steve's got a YouTube channel? Yeah, he Sweet. just started it so he's. Oh, fantastic, fantastic, like, perfect. So Steve, thank you for telling me that. Steve's got a YouTube channel now where he's putting, you see, the dude obviously has awesome information, killer animals, knows what he's talking about, so there'll be a link down there for Steve's channel. I will put it right down there so you can go check out what he's putting up with the uh, beaded lizards and stuff. Gonna be fantastic, I just know it. I mean, you can tell, that was uncut video, he just killed it. Okay, let's, let's find, I guess we should go back to where we started because we got about a, uh, Three minutes left before my battery dies or the video just ends on its own. What do we say? Let's stroll back through here. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Blue Tongue Skink. We got, I really feel like we should go back to Jimmy's table. We didn't really spend any time at Jimmy's table. We need to call him out about his handwriting. I think I was supposed to do some kind of headstand. I talked about on the uncut video when we were doing our predictions for the show. None of them have come true so far, by the way. Nothing. Nothing's come true, so I, we made our predictions about what was going to happen at the show, and I don't think any of it has actually happened yet. What was supposed to happen? I was supposed to do a headstand, maybe, I think, and Jimmy was supposed to like come try and push me over. I feel like that. I feel like we talked about that. that. I think I predicted that. Mm. In a previous video? Yeah. So if you weren't watching, you gotta go back and watch? Yeah, if you weren't watching, you gotta go back and watch the previous video. See all the predictions that we made about what was going to happen at the show. Then you'll actually know. And know whether or not they happened. I will say that I didn't pick up any animals on the show. I wasn't planning to. Happen. I think it was bullshit. As possible, then <laughs> nothing actually happened. We've just been bullshitting the whole time. That's highly actually likely. What's up, Jimmy? So, I want to talk to you about something. It's uh, your handwriting. What about it? I don't know. Apparently, uh, apparently it's, it's hard to read. Scratch. I have the best writing ever. Really? Fucking bullshit. Some people said uh, that they couldn't They're lying. read. <laughs> They're lying. You're a liar. You're a liar. You hear that girl who I didn't get your name? He called you a liar. Uh -oh. What you gonna do? I'm not one hey, to start all, just stuff. Kidding, just kidding. I'm not. Uh, take a uh, you know what? I was probably in a rush. <laughs> I apologize profusely. <laughs> Jimmy, you're not supposed to apologize if you didn't do anything wrong. Although I will say the handwriting might have been something you did wrong. Might have been a rush. Might have been a rush. My eyes are going a little bad. It was know? her first snake, and she, she wasn't able to tell me. She knew it was a banana, but beyond that, it was like. Chicken from, scratch? We from showed, today? From today? Yeah, she got her first snake ever. Yellow, uh, uh, probably yellow belly uh, specter, yellow belly fast travel. Your guess is as good as mine, Jimmy. I mean, the writing on the page said something about balanana lanana, balala, balala, I think it said. All right. I, he says, screw this. <laughs> Shot while you're doing that. I don't know if I can drink like this. Chris, you should try. Chris, you gotta try. Hey, Brian, we're gonna go to Nick's here in a minute. I know. But aren't we going to GX3 first? Hold on, don't kick me. Uh, no, no, because that's 30 minutes out the road, right? Oh, okay, okay. So therefore, we're gonna go to next first. So I should probably start breaking down right now. We should definitely have already broken down. <laughs> What's the capital of Thailand? 
Hey, is that has that thing stopped recording yet? No. It's not done? No. I'll tell you right now, hold on. What's the timer set? It doesn't have a timer. Yes, it does. It says 36 minutes. What? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> There's not a timer on it. Oh, here it is. It's, uh, it's flashing. 673. Huh? 673. 673? There's no timer on here, fool. On the screen. Yeah. Are, are you going for 30 minutes? Yeah. 